Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're gonna to talk about a pair of Zonky Boot. Now, uh, Zonky Boot is a brand out of Vienna, and their shoes are made in Italy. Uh, they're a um, hand-welted outfit, and uh, they really do a lot of very, very nice work. Uh, they're one of the few uh, shoe manufacturers out there that will hand stitch, uh, although they don't hand stitch everything. And uh, you can find a lot of really interesting information on the brand in the website. Now, this is a pair that I picked up because I really wanted an introduction uh, to the brand. I, I know a number of guys who had uh, boots uh, that they had tried and uh, a couple of different types of shoes, uh, most specifically derbies. And I spent a lot of time agonizing kind of where do I want to start? How do I want to look at it? And I chose this. This is a ready to wear pair. Um, so one that they actually stock. And I, I wanted it because I wanted to really understand fit. Um, this is in their classic round last. And I wanted to understand how the quality of this would be. Kind of like going to an Italian restaurant and ordering spaghetti uh, because um, it's not the fanciest thing on the menu, but you'll know that it's good high quality um, Italian if they do it right. And that's kind of the way I look at these shoes. They're just done right. Now, the uh, inspiration for Zonky Boot um, has a very similar origin story to that of St. Crispin's, uh, but they are less expensive. And um, if you think about the, the, the labor market in Italy versus the labor market in, um, in, in Transylvania, it's, it, it, it does cost more, uh, but they, um, uh, they, I would say that the leather quality is, is very, very close and the construction is also very close. Now, it's also a lot less frills, and I'll talk a little bit about what I mean there, but um, let's take a look at these particular shoes right now, because that's why we're here. And this is an Adelaide um, Oxford, and you can see it has the hindquarters, it has the toe cap, and then it has the U-throat. Now, it has a very unique shape on the U-throat, which gives it a very, very different vibe. And I like that it, it's just a little bit different. It's not very different. Um, you know, really, really works well for me. Now, one thing that I noticed is that the there's a line on the um, laces that's 100% straight. Uh, a lot of times it's tapered um, or, or there's some sort of pattern in it. And, and there isn't, it is a five eyelet, which, which is pretty standard of the European brands. And, um, uh, it's not like super close to the to the to this facing either right so like if you look at like an Allen Edmonds they're really close to the facing um, so the laces when they're tied are shorter than they are here here they're they're pretty wide um, and uh, I, I like that I think it's a nice clean easy look um, I chose wide laces and and I think that they look great um, the uh, the leather itself is very soft it's very supple um, uh, it, uh, the wax has cracked a little bit. Um, if you look at here, um, there is some, some creasing. Um, it's on the high end of micro creasing, but it is still micro creasing. But it, uh, it really does not uh, wear badly at all. Um, and you can see that the creasing is really only at the bend. Um, not a lot of, uh, you know, any kind of uh, um, creasing anywhere else. And, um, you know, the cracking here, this is all on the wax. So, and you can see, I just need to spend some time repolishing these guys. But um, really, really well done. If you look on the edge, it's all sanded down. Um, and it has, this is a double sole. Okay, so it has a midsole, the weld, the midsole, and then the outer sole. Um, it is very clean but it's also um, blind stitched and it has nails in the front so you don't need to bother with toe plates. Now the, the sole here is flat um, and it is square on the waist, but what's interesting about this is it's actually um, shaped. So there's a shape here where it kind of creates a little bit of the arch um, so it's not flat. So this has the shape of a higher end shoe um, but the actual uh, sole itself is flat, and I find that to be really interesting. Uh, you also, when you um, when you have them, there, there's a little bit of a give. Uh, it's not 100% flat. Another thing that you'll find with higher end shoes, um, and that shape really molds to your foot better as as you continue to wear them. Uh, so now, um, speaking of the waist itself, 
Um, square on the outside with a little bit of a bevel. Now this bevel is all done by hand and this has more of a bevel on the inside. So it looks square from this angle. When you look at it on the side, it is actually have a bevel both on the top and on the bottom, but these are 270 degree welts. There is stitching above it. So it's not, not narrow and, and it's not as finely done as it would be on a St. Crispin's. And then I think that that's important to note because there is a significant price difference. I mean, these aren't these aren't inexpensive, right? I think they're 780 euros um, without uh, without tax. So it's, or 725. So, um, but it is a, uh, it is a, a very well done shoe. The, they are pitched heels um, and they do have a, uh, a decent amount of rubber here. Uh, the nail work on the sole is of course beautiful. Now, um, you know, the color on this is uh, is brown, dark brown. Um, it has uh, developed an interesting patina around the bend, although not as uh, defined as some. Uh, they have really nice uh, contrast in the brogues. Um, so um, it picks up light really, really well, um, both in pictures and uh, just in regular light. I'm really happy with that. And I'm happy with the quality. I'm happy with the consistency, the way the stitching is done, the way the, um, the whole shoe is put together. Uh, you know, the, the work on the welt is very, very nicely done. Um, and, you know, as I said before, with the edges and the waist, very, very clean. So not a lot of extras. Now, the great thing about this, though, and this is not to be discounted, is I have custom lasts in about half a dozen brands. And this is a ready to wear pair and it just fits. And that's awesome for me. Now, because it fits me where other brands don't fit me, that may mean it may not fit you, okay? So, so that's something to think about. But I don't get, I am one of those people that has a wide foot this way, but not a very high foot here. And this really kind of, um, it, it just fits me a little bit better than a, a regular um, ready to wear. So very, very happy with it. Um, just the, uh, the way it's coming along is nice. Um, my experience on the wear has been very, very good. I feel like it is actually becoming a softer shoe the more I wear it. And this actually likens me back to a bespoke shoe maker in the United States who, I, who I've worked with once before. Uh, his name is Francis Wapplinger. He told me, he said, my shoes aren't gonna stretch, they'll soften. So where things might seem tight, they'll stay tight. Where things seem stiff, they'll be soft. And I think that that's a great way of describing the way that these feel. They feel exactly the same way they did when I bought them. Uh, and I've worn them, you know, a bit, um, but not not a ton, right? Because uh, I have a lot of shoes. But um, it, they, uh, they are softer today than the day that I bought them. And I think that that's a great way of looking at it. And I'm very happy with the way that these are turning out. So uh, Zonky Boot, um, big thumbs up for me. And uh, just as an update with the brand, um, for my wedding anniversary this year, um, which was 25, I actually reached out and commissioned a pair of field boots from them uh, with silver hardware. And um, they actually are doing a belt for me with a sterling silver buckle so that I have something for my 25th anniversary. So kind of a neat uh, neat thing as well. Um, the uh, And I, one of the greatest things and I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't mention this, I, and I'm pretty sure I've done this in all of the different ones, is that Zonky Boot is one of the rare makers out there that allows you to look at a lot of different leathers, including Shrunken Bull, uh, which is this really, really cool textured leather um, that has um, just a lot of um, really, really rich character to it. And so what I did was I got a pair of... Um, uh, straight calf field boots with shrunken bull um, shafts and I think it's gonna look fantastic and I did the belt in shrunken bull uh, which uh, they told me was a first so happy happy to do that and uh, we'll report back to you on what the experience is like uh, throughout the life of that pair as well so thanks for watching